Okay. So uh, the problem we're working on here is Gaussian avatars. So uh, imagine you want to get yourself into virtual reality. Uh, what you want is to be able to render from 360 degrees. Uh, but the problem with existing methods uh, based on Gaussian avatars is they either rely on having many cameras or they can be trained on a single camera, but they can only be rendered from that same camera viewpoint. So what we're trying to do is say, can we take a user's video or even a single image and create some sort of avatar that can be animated in real time uh, from any viewpoint uh, and is also photorealistic? So in an ideal world, we would take a huge amount of data from thousands of people uh, and generate some sort of generative prior which means we could uh, have a, an input latent vector and output a Gaussian avatar. And then we could just optimize that latent vector to get a Gaussian avatar from our limited user data. But the problem is we don't have this kind of data, but what we do have uh, with Microsoft is a very good synthetic data pipeline. So we can simulate this essentially with computer graphics assets uh, that look something like this one down here. And we can train a prior with this. We have almost infinite data. It's perfectly labeled, very accurate. Um, but the issue is if we try and fit the latent vector here, we're just going to end up with a synthetic avatar. Uh, that's kind of what this one here is doing. So instead, we need to come up with a way of getting somewhat more photorealistic results out of our synthetic prior. And the way we do this is with per Gaussian features. So we have a feature vector associated with each Gaussian. And that is essentially a semantic representation. So it will say, for example, this is a hair Gaussian. And uh, for this also on the back of the head is a hair Gaussian. So they're very similar in feature space. Our model then takes a, a representation of identity together with these feature vectors. So it might say, for example, this is your hair. And it will produce the Gaussian properties for that. So the color, the shape, the rotation, et cetera. And what's really interesting about this is we can use it at fitting time when we've got user data to extract those correlations. So we would have, uh, this is a hair Gaussian, this is a hair Gaussian. They have very similar features. And if we optimize the uh, decoder for these, because it's a very small network and that's quite important, it will produce similar outputs for similar input features. So you can see here we have uh, kind of light gray hair on the synthetic one going to darker black hair with more texture. And even though we only ever see the front of the head for this, we're able to update the back of the head to get darker hair and uh, textured features as well. Uh, we then have a third stage, which is kind of less important. We just pass everything through and we get the Gaussians. We optimize those directly on the views we do have. So what's quite interesting here with these ones, we've never seen the back of a real person's head, but despite that, we're still predicting fairly reasonable uh, back of the head from that synthetic data. And we have some quantitative results as well. So what's quite good is, even though we're doing a fairly weird thing here with an MLP and Gaussian features, we're still getting pretty similar results to the previous state of the art when we have multiple cameras. But when we have only a single image or a single video, we have a pretty significant increase in the results, both uh, quantitatively and with user ratings.